Hi everybody, Lisa Young Sutton with another video for you. And um, well, I don't know if this one's going to be a keeper or not because I'm trying something different. I'm, I'm filming this on the fly, which means I have not read this GT yet. This is for a card reader. So I thought all of you card readers watching these videos could really relate to this. Now, this is someone, we're just going to call her D. Okay, so it is for a woman and she came to me because she's um, she's been reading these cards for years, but she is having difficulty suddenly. And believe me, this seems to there seems to be a trend with this. All of a sudden, people are coming to me, uh, you know, out of the woodwork and saying, you know, I don't know. I used to think I knew how to read these cards, but I've been in these practice groups and I've been reading all kinds of articles and. Uh, there's there's just so much Let, let's face it there's just too much information on the internet and until you have a solid foundation all these different methods and they all work right everybody's techniques and methods work but they are theirs so you have to pick and choose what resonates with you and what already goes with what you're doing you know what I mean? Because some sometimes your method and someone else's method may um, contradict each other. So you can't just pick up everybody else's methods. So anyway, before I get off the track, because I don't have any kind of a <laughs> script for this, I didn't even think about it. So let me just try to stay on track. All right, these are my, um, geez, I, you know, in the last video, didn't I say I always use a mini deck for GTs? Well, guess what? I didn't. So I don't always, but um, I mostly do. All right, so this is the Maybe Lenormand by Ryan Edward. Love, 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 love this deck. Okay, and it's got great extra cards. In fact, his extra cards uh, actually all together kind of give you a gypsy witch deck. Not a gypsy de deck, <laughs> excuse me. Not a gypsy deck, a gypsy witch deck except for I think the cross is the only one, but you can use a joker and write that one in. Um, so, I mean, like I, in other words, I, I took my gypsy witch deck and made it into a Lenormand deck, but Ryan Edwards, maybe Lenormand gives you a gypsy witch deck. Okay, anyway, that's gonna have to be another video. <laughs> All right, so anyway, okay, so, what did I ask? Why did I lay a GT for this? Okay, so this this uh, woman wants to know why she's suddenly having a hard time relating to the Lenormand cards. Why she suddenly can't read them anymore, all right? So I don't care who this is. This, because this is only going to be represent masculine energy. This man doesn't exist in this reading. There's no man related to this reading, okay? This is about her and the cards. So these are my primary significators, right? Her and I chose book to represent the Lenormand cards. So the man um, will be masculine energy, like dominance or assertiveness or, you know, that kind of thing. All right, we'll get into that. So I laid these cards last night after speaking to her, <clears throat> excuse me, Hey, look, I'm still in my jammies. All right, so anyway, I laid these cards last night and I love reading GTs this way. I do this a lot if, if uh, I'm doing distance readings and it doesn't have to be done right away. I will lay the GT at night and just glance at it, just go through the whole thing, just getting a kind of a visual to, to you know, lodge in my, in my little brain, right? And then I sleep on it. And then in the morning, I come out and I look at it and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is easy. I see this and then it's a great way of doing it. You know, remember I said, like, walk away from them whenever you can, because you'll come back and you'll get so much. You'll see so much. OK, so what do I do first? You know, my normal steps, I look at the first three cards. Now, remember, she's asking why she's suddenly having an issue. Well, here is her, you know, here's her house. Here's her personal life. Right. And the sun, the energy. Right, so she said she used to be great at reading these cards, but now something's eating away, right? What is taking away from this personal success she had before? Now notice where she is too, this is freaking brilliant. Oh my God, I mean the cards, not me. Okay, <laughs> I say that a lot, these cards are brilliant. All right, so <clears throat> right away, we know what the story is. Something is taking away what 
is it some these this is an underlying ongoing anxieties right that that are slowly gnawing away think of the difference between the mice and the uh, the birds birds are just like yes it's talk you know and i'm not saying it's not because it is for me too this is chatter this is talk this is verbal verbal communication but not just verbal communication this is like um chattering gossip uh, brain brain activity right too much in your brain it's that the traditional meaning is like everyday stress stresses right so think about that what goes on in your head just there's too much going on in, on in your head right isn't that funny that's right above that too i mean the mice is above that okay so i look at the corners and you know she, this she's very feels very personal right about um the cards you know they are part of her personal life you know she she made them her own at one time she loves them you know she was she's been getting guidance from them but now look what we have here uh oh something is suddenly blocking her she's she's facing a challenge now well we already know that okay all right now her fate her fate line is gorgeous by the way look at that wow okay um this is what I do when I read cards. You're seeing me read these things live. So <laughs> this is what I do. All right, now, I can't help but notice where she is. I know the, the center for, um, you know, we know she's having, um, here, here's the messages from the cards, right? And this can also be communication from others. Ooh, yeah, okay. So especially with this, right? Ooh, yeah, okay, so she's, she's getting too much information conflicting information from others look where the um okay this is what's coming to her remember the the rider is stuff coming to you right ideas people packages news whatever it is it's coming to you and what is it bringing mm, yeah she's boxing herself in she's she, well we know she's feeling a bit depressed now she's feeling buried she she feels that all this is burying her all of this she's listening to all these other people right okay that's what i'm getting and wasn't i just talking about that okay it's it's burying her okay now that that's the center for all right now but look where she is first of all look how far she is from her cards now remember i, I read left to right and i know she's looking back well look at her body is facing forward that's one of the reasons i love his deck <laughs> okay because i can take note of what she's looking at but she's still moving this way because i I read this way so notice this fell in its own house too the bouquet this is the beautiful things the the, the beautiful messages that she um, is given that she receives right this is the praise the um, the you know the accolade she she was getting in the past for all her beautiful readings and this is the way she f used to feel about the cards right she's still looking for that and it fell in its own house, so it still exists. We just have to figure out how she can get back to that. But look at her line of sight. She's got all this chatter. Now this could just be mind chatter. This doesn't mean it's from somebody else, but this kind of makes it from somebody else. Because, well, okay, not, not always, because you can beat yourself up too, and you can argue with yourself. But we have three, the three communication cards. Oh my gosh, four. Okay, we got four communication cards right here so it's not i would say it's both in her head and coming from others that kind of seals that for me all four communication cards right in the center touching her all touching each other who but look at here's her zen card right here's her peace and her wisdom her maturity this is her being confident in her own abilities right and okay right here's her strength this is the house of strength. Ooh, ooh, look what's happening to the house of strength. And look what house she's in. She's in, I know I don't have a house mat here, but you know, um, just trust me. These are the houses. <laughs> she's in the house of scythe. Here's scythe right here in the house of bear, right? This is, oh, bears in clouds. And look, and, and what's, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, bears in clouds, right? Scythe lands in clouds and is cutting into the clouds, which is in stars. So this is like her guidance from above, her ability to read the cards. We can say stars. It's her ability to read the cards. It's the guidance from above, right? It's clouded, right? She needs to find her strength there, but it's being cut. It's being cut. It's in danger. All right. Look at the, it's got cross right above it and heart. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now let's, now that we're over here again, like I said, the, the cards are so far from her, but look at the cards around. I'll just call this book. 
so it doesn't sound so confusing. All right, but the book represents the Lenormand cards. All right, so, but look at the cards that are around book. We have the card of many, all right? This is being stuck, all right? Okay, she's rooted, um, but she's stuck. She's stagnating, okay? Here, again, challenge, being blocked. Here we have danger. Here we have confusion. That is all around the, the book. So this is, here is the problem, all right? This is really the answer here many right look we got the we got something sneaky something wrong something not clear which we already know it's not clear that's why she's confused right so oh my gosh okay so now her journey i you know i i always look at the ship to see where her journey is heading and it's it's heading towards stagnation and and challenges this don't forget the mountain is is a challenge you can overcome all right it's going to get in your way. It's going to slow you down. That's why it's the card of delays, but it's not the coffin. Where's the coffin? Oh yeah, it's not that. It's not, this is done. This is over. This is, you just have to figure out a way over this. But right now she's stuck here, isn't she? And this is where her journey has been heading. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let's, let's look at him because he lands in her house, doesn't he? All right. So remember I said this is going to be an aspect of herself. I would say she's being too hard on herself. She's being too left brain. She's being too analytical. Oh my God, this ties in with, whew, you can see how excited I get when I read these cards. This ties in with her listening to too many other people. All right, wait, where's my card of rules? Oh God, okay. My card of rules, all right, is in her house. I, you know, her house of house of house. This is her personal life, okay? Oh my gosh. I mean, so, and, and here we have, okay, change. Ooh, okay, so something has changed. She's got, she's adding rules now. Something has changed regarding her, her personal, you know, card reading career, right? Something has changed. She's got too many rules, regulations now, authority. All right, she's listening to others. That's, see, I was seeing that here. She is listening to others. She's, lo she's losing her mojo. She's lost her mojo. Oh my God, okay, now sun above her is so significant because remember what she's worried about, what she's asking about. Why can I suddenly not read these cards anymore? Why am I suddenly confused even though I've been reading them for years? Why, I used to think they were easy, now why do I think they're hard? That, that was um, a summation of what she said, okay. Now think about the sun above her. This is personal success and victory. This is the sun is shining on you, my friend. You have to listen to yourself. This is the opposite, really, of the moon. Think of the moon. Here's the moon. Moon is social success. Okay, it's recognition. It's how you are viewed, but it's also how others, you view others. Um, all right, how you view anything, really, okay? Um, but, you know, okay, social success. I mean, everything looks better under the moonlight. I know at my age, that is my best light, that and candle. Okay, so, but anyway, here, this brilliant sun is shining right on her, and she's staring at this. She, the sun is saying, listen, forget this. It's not about what makes others successful. It is what makes you successful as a card reader. What do these cards say to you? Just read the damn cards. You know, that is from Camelia Elias, who I adore, and I have, um, Stolen that from her. No, I'm sorry. I have borrowed that from her. I will always give her credit for her uh, her phrases that I use, such as unlearning. You know, unlearn everything that you thought you learned. All those rules people keep telling you. Oh, every time you see a card here, it means this. And every time you see, there's no such thing. Get rid of every and never. First of all, you you're never going to be a, a decent card reader. Okay. That'll only take you so far, and at some point that'll all fall apart. And that's what's happening to people. They, they, they follow all these rules, and they think they've got it down, and they, they can read for months, maybe even years, and then all of a sudden it all falls apart. It's because it's not their own. You have to formulate a language so that you can communicate with spirit, okay? No common language, no communication. All right, so this is saying to her, you have to show, the light is coming from within you. All right, forget about what others are doing. All right, and here we do have, 
look at and there's there's the card of other people right so what is the key the key is committing to to um how you see what others are doing right oh okay wait hang on but this is okay so you're going to drop your anchor in your um to find your solution okay hang on hang on all right so now this is twisted look at this here we have the perfect ongoing circle but here look how it breaks up the snake breaks it up okay and this okay now we got the man above the social success card she, yeah see there it is okay wait 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 so she's she's seeing she's she's paying too much attention to the others right she's following too many rules she's being too rigid too analytical rather than just relaxing and going with the flow and therefore look where her journey is heading okay so you know what i don't even know what i just said because like i said i'm doing this on the fly so i'm going to stop here <laughs> and i might have to make a part two i don't know but i'm going to stop and i'll listen to it and see if i if i dare post this i don't know but um what is my answer to this she needs to she needs to unlearn she needs to unlearn she needs to just read the damn card she needs to be true to herself she needs to find the beauty in these cards again she needs to forget listening all this mind chatter and arguing with others not arguing but you know what i mean all the all the um oh all the rules look at that right there oh my gosh look at this column <laughs> yeah look look what's burying her her commitment to these cards her contract she had with the universe for reading these cards look what's on top of it yeah she's got it she's got to do some unlearning and she's got to get back to doing her, her own thing and trusting trusting herself the sun is shining on her yeah she's got to make a choice look what she's standing on she's got to go a different way she's got to separate herself go a different way right and cho choose the the clover because look what's in the clover the sun okay thank you so much everybody and uh, hopefully i'll be posting this if not i'll make another one um thanks and have a great day bye